Hi class, good day. How are you? Okay, great. I'm glad to know you're good. For today's lesson, we're going to discuss the module 2 in Music 9. In this lesson, you're expected to First, enumerate the important events during the Renaissance period. Second, identify the characteristics of the Renaissance music. And third, show the appreciation and the importance of the development of printing during the Renaissance period. Now, I want you to get your pen and paper and answer the pretest. You have 20 seconds to do it. Your time starts now. Okay, time's up. Now I want you to be honest and check your own work by referring to these answers. Now it's time for recap. Direction. Analogy. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number one. Gregorian chant is to blank and troubadour music is to French. Is it A. Greek, B. Latin, C. Chinese, D. Filipino? If you answered letter B, Latin, your answer is correct. Number two. Sacred is the Gregorian chant and blank is the troubadour music. Is it A, secular, B, vernacular, C, bipolar, D, scholar? The answer is... Letter A, secular. Number three, Gregorian chant is religious, while troubadour music is blank. Is it A, feast, B, celebrations, C, non-religious, or D, religious? The correct answer is letter C, non-religious. Number four, Gregorian chant is to blank, while troubadour music is with instrumental accompaniment. Is it A, religious, B, a cappella, C, entertainment, D, secular? If you answered letter B, a cappella, you are correct. Number five, Gregorian chant is to blank, while troubadour music is to Adam Delhal, is it A. Pope Gregory the First, B. Prince, C. Troubadour, D. Filipino? If you answered letter A, Pope Gregory the First, you are correct. <coughs> Let us now move on to our lesson today. After the fall of the Roman Empire, wherein Europe was darkened by darkness, wherein the power of the king and the church dominated, people are fighting in the Crusades to break the darkness. The life of the farmers and the peasants were really hard. Europe lost thousands of people, but this was the before. There comes the new era. The Renaissance. The word Renaissance means to be reborn. It is used to describe an enormously important movement of cultural rebirth. It began in Italy around 1400, gradually spreading northward and roughly ended around 1600. The Renaissance was a unique period of history and era where people actively sought to improve their own culture by attempting to recapture some of the greatness of the long-forgotten civilization of ancient Greece and Rome. The humanism surfaced during the Renaissance period 
This movement focuses on man's accomplishment. With the emergence of the bourgeois class, Renaissance music became popular as an entertainment and activity for amateurs and the educated. The invention of the printing in the 1400s paved the way for a wide distribution of Renaissance compositions. The development of the printing press brought about the availability of music and literature. Lute was the prominent instrument of the Renaissance era. The influence of the Roman Catholic Church started to decline as the new music genre arose. Though sacred music was still of great importance, secular music became more prominent in the Renaissance period. This era was also known as the Golden Age of a cappella choral music. Other historical facts during this era is the discovery of the actual position of the Earth in the solar system by Copernicus, the invention of the compass creating a wider navigation not only of lands but also of the oceans, and Martin Luther's Protestant Reformation. Here are the characteristics of the Renaissance music. First, Renaissance music is mostly polyphonic meaning there are two or more independent melodies sounding simultaneously. Imitation is also common in Renaissance music. It is the repetition of a melody in a polyphonic texture shortly after its first appearance in the different voices. Renaissance music uses word painting, and it is a musical gesture that expresses the meaning of words in the text. Melodic lines move in a flowing manner, and melodies are easier to perform because this move along a scale with a few large leaps. You will be hearing an example of a Renaissance music entitled Miserere Mei Deus or Have Mercy on Me, O God, a Renaissance music composed by an Italian priest, Gregorio Alighieri. It is exclusively sung in the Sistine Chapel. That's the end of our lesson today. I hope you learned a lot about today's discussion. In the meantime, I want you to get your pen and paper and answer the activity one. Crossword. Cross out the Renaissance words and write it inside the box below. For activity number two, I want you to answer this graphic organizer. Also, don't forget to answer the wrap up, the valuing, most importantly, the post test for today's lesson. Thank you and see you next time.